If you are an amateur golfer like me, the backswing and takeaway can decide if you stripe your neck, shot, or shank it into the Amazon rainforest. So today, I am with one of the greatest golf coaches in the world to fix this very thing. He gives me a game-changing feel that makes me feel like Matt Wolf, but makes my swing look like Adam Scott's. Techniques with the lower body that Rory McIlroy and even Prime Tiger Woods in the 2000s did to help them rotate and fire their hips. External cues to help reduce the stress you have every time you're over that golf ball to be consistent out on the golf course. And even touch on how to start striping your driver even better for all of you who need help with that. So S2, let's go. All right, let's see a hit. Just to kind of recap from the last time, so the three things that we kind of focused on, right, was like this pronation thing, like not pronating it, and then getting it up here, getting deep landing, right. and then staying on plane. Yeah. Like the big thing now for me that I think the two things, is like when I get too far, I'm like so far ahead of the ball, and then I like talk. I guarantee it. you, you're not too far forward. Okay. If you got too far forward, you'd hit the ball first, you might hit it low, but you'll smash it. Oh, okay. Don't come out of it. Oh, okay, got so it. So if it. I go like this and I land and I think I'm too far forward, mm -hmm. well, I'm going to hit the brakes and I'm going to turn mm -hmm. and I'm not going to come out of it. You'll smash it. Okay. If anything, if you're topping it, you're going up or back. Okay, gotcha. Like that. See, that's better contact, right? Yeah. Like you can't get forward enough. Okay. If I get up here, I'm okay. Gotcha. I don't mind. Now, people go, well, you might slide. Whatever. Like, get forward and make good contact, and we'll worry about that later. Okay. Got it. You can't do much if you miss the center of the face. Yeah. <laughs> Pure. Those are both really good execution of shot. Before I film you, yeah. those are the same spot. Yeah. Okay. Now, yeah, they're offline. They're right a few degrees. So it's probably club face related. I don't really care. Yeah, yeah. But you're at least smashing it. So what did that feel like? Uh, for me, and I, I know it's always going to go slightly right, but like. And I don't want it to be complex yeah. for you. I want you to be like, what did that feel like? The move is the instant I land, I just, I just need to feel the landing for me. Okay. That's pretty much my trigger point right now. It's like I land and then I kick and then it's, that's pretty much the okay. only two things okay. I think about. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Let's just keep reiterating that. Yeah. I was playing with this, I, and like for me, I know we were th like the club face stuff. I just didn't focusing on that. Well, we're I, not doing that yet. Yeah. <laughs> keep making good contact. Yeah. Okay, three in a row. Same spot. Okay. Yeah. We're not playing golf right now. So if you're playing golf, you're going to hit that shot. Yeah. And you're going to keep hitting that shot. You're not going to add to that shot. So if you go out there, you're like, I'm hitting everything a little right, just aim better. Okay. Aim more left. Yeah. You're aiming right. <laughs> God, so, okay. and, and maybe it's a little with the face, but it's not the time to go, I'm going to bow my wrist or all the other things that AMs like to do. Yeah. Because if I did that every time, yeah. I know where I can aim. Mm -hmm. It's going the same place. It's just 25 yards right. Yeah. I mean, it's not like you got a two-way miss going on, right? Mm -hmm. So let's do the same thing. Aim more left with your feet and just aim the face like three degrees more to the left. Oh, I see. Before we get into like <laughs> mechanical things that yeah. may or may not help you or serve you at that that matter. So here, this is aiming the left now or yeah, a little so left? Yeah, feel your left. Yep. Okay, face three degrees more left. Uh, this way. Yep, and then take your grip and do the same feel. Don't change your feet or anything. Okay, that's good. You came out of it. Came up. Yeah. Let me try it again. Keep the same input. So now we kind of know what the input should be. Yeah. We have kind of a trend going on. Yeah. We have a we have an aim bias and we have coming out of your inclination. Sweet. So we still got the good contact. Yeah. You got two more like that. Solid. Okay, so we have a miss to the right. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna look at what maybe might be the reason for that. Okay, now these are not drawing. I know we got a pretty heavy wind off the left. Yeah. That's not helping. Um, I'm gonna do a down the line video. Cool. So we kind of, kind of look at club path. It's good that you're staying forward enough. That means you're probably hitting down on your iron some, mm -hmm. which means that's gonna help the path move to the right. Yeah. When you hit down, yeah. when you stand up back up, that's not helping. Yeah. 
All right, so let's just have you just keep hitting and I'm going to film one down the line. Okay. We, we want to kind of simplify this out because it's too good not to. This is what I was playing with in that front nine. And I just was like, I don't want to start changing the supination stuff. So I was like, there's no reason to because yeah. you're effective. Yeah. Solid. One more time. Oh, no, no. It's no. all right. Okay, let's take a look. That yeah. one you kind of tilted back on. Yeah. Okay, well, let's look at things. Like the overall motion of your swing full speed looks pretty good. You're kind of setting it up in the heel a little bit, though, homie. Yeah. <laughs> I have that problem with my short game, too, that we realized. Oh, really? Yeah, so, like, I, it looks to me, it's just in the center, but it's always on the heel, so I gotta. Yeah, just kind of play the ball off the scoring line. So, like, your scoring line would be, like, see where that toe is. Yeah. Just feel like, and it's an adaptation. Yeah. But the other adaptation is now you're actually aiming square. Yeah. Now, look, that's not, if you are a tour player, some guys aim right, some guys aim left. It depends on their face-to-path relationship and maybe their angle of attack, whatever. But overall, you look pretty darn good. So, being square is kind of an easy metric to control because it's before you're even hitting a golf ball. Yeah. All right, let's see what you do. So, okay, that looks awesome. That looks fine. Um, Maybe more deep. What's that? Never mind, go ahead. <laughs> no, it's not deep. It's actually less than deep. No, so, I'm saying more deep. It has. Oh, yeah, it deep. needs to be more deep. Yeah. And and maybe the shaft pitch, if I was being a golf nerd for a minute. Yeah, what's shaft pitch? I will show you. So going back, this is a, this is a preference of mine. Sure. Doesn't necessarily mean it needs to happen. People can argue this. The shaft points outside the ball. Okay, so the problem with that, my experience, mm -hmm. slightly anecdotal, but there is some merit to it, is if the shaft points inside the ball at this point, it's going to have a better chance to shallow on the downswing. Okay, I'm outside right now. You are. Yeah, yeah. okay, so got currently. It. Yep. So whether that's coming from here, which mm. it somewhat is, yeah. and the hands are kind of in a good spot, maybe they could be slightly deeper. Yeah. But as you go to the top, your hands are more up. See how high they are? Yeah. Okay. And the trail arm is above like that. So my preference is, is that this elbow would be behind you more and more on that line. Okay. Not really below it, but just kind of like that yeah and retract it okay okay that would help you get the path of the hands if you look at the side here to not start out so much so right here the hands come out your brain knows that's coming out so what are you going to do so you don't hit the ground yeah pop up pop up yeah right so it can't stay behind you and then you kind of tilt and then you kind of lose your wrist angle and hit the ground yeah um because the last time we did it it was like the more of an angle like yeah. the one you're saying and then when i was practicing it got lower and lower <laughs> and i was like why is that happening so then i tried to counteract and try to get back to the picture we got okay and now it's a little higher it's so, higher okay so okay. maybe we could kind of just um, get it back to i think it's 90. a double-edged sword i think we need to kind of get the pitch of the shaft and the hand path to work a little better okay got it and then get to that point and then we'll see what it does hopefully it does stay back through the transition okay and it does shallow out so you can stay on top of it got it my big goal here is that we do not go backwards yeah especially with an iron got it okay and a three wood yeah <laughs> i hit a three wood club. i hit a three wood uh on the front nine and like on a par five and i was like i'm just gonna do it I hit the drive about 270 and then i hit the three wood like right next to the green very nice and i was like this yeah, is your three wood you should be your favorite club you should take it to yeah. dinner <laughs> okay. Talk nicely to it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I started hitting it off tee in these places where I usually hit driver, and like this version was just like not <laughs> so crazy. So. Yeah. Well, if you think about with your three wood, you're not, you're probably with your speed hitting about two degrees down on it. Yeah. Um, which is still pushing the path right. Yeah. Which is, look, a lot of AMs aren't good with it because they get with three wood and they start backing out of it. Yeah more loft backing out and then some ams actually hit it better than a driver that's kind of like a high lofted driver form yeah but i think it's an important club and this is the thing we've had with a when i think i'm aiming straight right now when i feel like i'm like aiming way left i end up going like 
like a, a different feel in the back soon because it seems like I have to like. Yeah, it's just that's just an adaptation. I'll just have to get used You'll to it. You'll be fine. Yeah. And before I take my three wood out to dinner after this lesson, please smash that subscribe and like button down below. This is the only golf channel ever on YouTube where I train with the top ranked coaches in the entire world to get to scratch and give it back to all of you absolutely for free. 3,000 likes is the goal, so please let's try to break that barrier in this video. Thanks very much. And back to the show. I did have a question on the pronation stuff. Mm -hmm. You know how we're like keeping it like this? Yeah. Does, I feel like the longer I do this, when it gets there, it's like that. Okay. Versus, is yeah, it? Yeah, don't worry about that. It doesn't matter? No. Okay. I was like, do I stop pronation at some point or? No, don't worry about it. Okay, go We're, we're going to do it. We're going to, I'll show you. So your feel yeah. is, we're going to keep, we've done this before. So you're going to feel the hand path is going to work more like that, where yep. the club's outside your hands. Yep. This doesn't pronate. Now yeah. you got to kind of feel for you that you're going to keep that, so the pitch of the shaft doesn't start flattening. Yeah. And keep going back for you. So it's going to go in. Don't change the wrist angles. Don't change the arm angle. Keep pulling that back that way, and get that back behind you. Okay. Okay. Now that'll help you get the mass of the shaft above, so that when you start to turn, it wants to fall. I see. So it's kind of like that. That'll yeah. be the feel. So it's kind of just like. Yeah. Like now, that. like I said, it might feel like a Matt Wolf feel. Yep. Which, fine. Like, that's what he does. Yeah. But hopefully it looks like an Adam Scott. Okay. You know. Okay, good lesson. There you go. <laughs> that was... <laughs> well, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Yeah. <laughs> like, and it's it all goes back to what I said before. Like, at the end of the day, and you set the face up better. Right? That would be a nice thing. Yeah, okay. I, I just need to feel like, okay, we'll figure it. Maybe I feel like it's on the toe so it goes in the center. Yeah, scoring line. Toe scoring line. Yeah. That's what, uh, when I was with Gabe, he's like, you need to feel like you're crazy cutting it and coming out because when I think I'm going straight, I'm going all the way back in. Going way, yeah. Yeah, it's... Okay, so here we are. All right, so let's look at that hand path. Right, so still a little bit of right wrist bend and a little supination, but the hand path's better. And then when I get to lead arm parallel, P3, this shaft is trying pretty darn close to that line. So you can do that more. You can Dude. feel like it's more this way as you go back. So you're not letting this at all hinge or anything. So how do I do that in regards to, so I'm like here. Yeah, just keep it this way. Oh, keep it th this way. Yeah, so just don't let this rotate and don't let this wrist go like that. See how you're like, uh, oh, this is I wrist see. extension. Yeah. And this is bowing. Like, you just see. leave it alone. And then just go like that. Now the shaft's more steep. So now the mass of the club, see how the club's lighter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so if I went old school, this yep. would be a, a, a decent feel. Like, for me, I like that feel. I don't like that feel. See how it's heavy? Yeah. This is lighter. I right? see. And I'm not saying it's going to be vertical, but it's going to be at or inside the ball at, at P3. So, okay, so it's like this, and then this doesn't even go like, like that at all. It. It's just... Yeah. Oh, it depends, okay. right? Like, yeah. some people have the, have the notion that they do need to bend the back of the right wrist and fold the right arm. Mm -hmm. Some players need to feel like they throw it wide. Mm -hmm. Okay, like there's a lot of different ways to skin that cap, but this is reference to you. So yeah. to you, you're over flexing the right wrist, which gets the club in, Yep. and then the mass is kind of subject to that. Now, what I really like is that your arm is better and you have more depth, right? Yeah. So that's good. And then when you start down, you stay in your tilt, you get the lead arm parallel, your arm is more in, and now the shaft points outside the ball. Which is the shallowing. That's the, the shallowing. Yeah. Now that was passive, not active. Yeah, what does that mean? Okay, good conversation. Yeah. So there's a thing called passive torque, mm -hmm. similar to baseball players. Okay. So a baseball player yeah. has a bat, they apply force to the system, mm -hmm. which produces a torque to the club. Yeah. So it's not active. So you have a couple of ramifications. So the wrist, if we're gonna go deep dive here, and I didn't come up with this. This is just 99% of golf instruction probably knows this. Yeah. 
the wrist at the top is either going to be in three locations, either it's extended, neutral, or flexed. Mm -hmm. Regardless of that, the wrist is always oscillating. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So regardless of you starting this way and keeping it, it's going to move this way to this way to this way throughout the swing. Yeah. Okay. So you're up here neutral. So when you apply force to your system, your left wrist goes this way. Yeah. Okay. That's what closes the face. Yeah. As that's occurring, I'm putting torque to the, to the grip, which is flattening the shaft. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now you can do that because where the hands are at the top, mm -hmm. this is the thing. Okay. The active part of passive torque is actually the predisposed mechanics of what you did. Mm -hmm. So you yeah, having a good it. backswing allows you to do that. Yeah. If you had a not so good backswing, you can't really do it. I see. Okay. So that's why I'm kind of traditional in my thought here of like trying to get into a traditional backswing. Yeah. Because it applies torque that way. So okay. this is actually going to work in this direction. Okay. And it flattens. So when you see that flatten, your brain knows it doesn't need to stand up. So as you're doing this, you can rotate your hips open. Stay, see how it's away from the inside now? Yeah. Hips can open and then you flushed it. So now you didn't have this like flippy look anymore yep. through the golf ball. Got it, got it, got it. See? Okay. That's where I'd hang my hat. Yep. Okay. Don't, don't you dare look at your <laughs> hips. I know what you're doing, don't do it. You don't need to look at your hips. Okay. You're like, oh, I gotta get those hips. No, 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 no. Oh, the man. better you get at that, the better the hips get. Okay. Okay, I don't typically tell people in lessons, like I've said, a billion times. A billion times <laughs> to rotate them. Yeah. If they're steep or you're steep this way, yeah. And whatever, your hips will probably extend early and tuck early. Yeah. To shallow it. Mm -hmm. So fair? Yeah. Okay. Let's do that again. That was awesome. Okay. Let me try that just exaggerated back uh, Just those away. inputs. Now we're we're gonna go back a little bit. Sure. So what are the things that you can control right now? Before hitting it? Or yeah. just during it. You know you can pick the right club. Yeah, my aim. I know I can aim it. Um, and then I can have an overall feel of what I'm feel. just working on. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. And you just keep and you're you're gonna walk up to it and be between a scale of one to ten, you're gonna be a nine to ten. Okay. Of those things. Or don't take it back. Good. Spin axis on the ball was good. Yeah. Do it yes. again. I just land left more. Yeah, that's. I felt like I was on the toes of my left okay. foot. Back off of it, do that again. I stood up Good. out of that. Keep doing it, you're fine. Don't overthink it, make it a motion. Sick. Yeah. Okay, so this is what's very, very funny. If I was, let's say that sample size was a lot bigger and I was you. Yeah. Your good is really good now. Yeah. And then your bad is really bad. Yeah. So it's like, well, wait a minute. Like this discrepancy is really here. That's only because of the lack of experience you have of hitting golf balls your whole life. Yep. So if you were starting when you're four, some of those contact pieces are always going to be there. Mm -hmm. um, you do struggle on your left side. It does seem to be like that's not a normal thing for you to do to be here and then pivot around. Yeah. It's gotten a heck of a lot better. But I would agree that you probably did everything you did right there at 99%. So here's what we're going to do. Let's kind of think about this in a little different fashion. So when we, when we rewound to the beginning of today, like you hit a bunch of balls pretty well, but they were to the right. Yeah. Okay. So if I was to script this out, I would say that, okay, that I was probably a little bit steep, a little bit early extended, and probably the face was open at impact because of that. Yeah. Okay. We already know through this last input of you getting your hands to go in that everything's fine. Now I just kind of like explained everything to you to satisfy like the internal part of you because I know how you work. But we have to, we sincerely have to dumb this down. Yep. So let's try to bring some keys that dumb it down even more. Okay. Okay. So let's take your setup. This is going to be fun. Cool. Okay. Cause let's say that you're really, really nervous. Yep. Okay. Do you have more control when you're nervous or less? Less for sure. Okay. So can you get rid of the nervousness? Um, no. 
I'm just no. going to say no. Don't even no. say yes. No. It's, it's not know. going anywhere. Okay? <laughs> no. So that first T jitter thing you think you can get rid of, you can only solve it by using better techniques to yeah. manage it. Yeah. Which is like maybe your breathing or maybe an external cue. Okay. So take your setup. I'm going to give you an external cue. I, I, I didn't say alcohol. <laughs> For viewers at home, I didn't say get hammered, but we're going to give it an external cue. Just a little buzz. A little buzz. <laughs> All right, tequila. All right, ready? So take your setup. All right, so we know the hand path going in. Yep. Okay, but I want you to get the butt end of the club when you go to whack your right pant leg. Like touch it? You're going to try to. You're going to okay. scrape it. Yep, you're going to feel like you do that in your practice swing. So that... that 100% those hands didn't go out. They went in, right? Yeah. By doing that. Okay. Yeah. And with no forearm rotation. Ready? So you just do that. Uh, hit it or do a practice swing with that? You can hit it. Just try to feel like you get close to it. And then set it up in the toe. Hmm. Mm. Don't think you did it, but the ball went dead perfect. <laughs> okay. So that's kind of, that's your big piece. Okay. Because here's how you think about things. I want to be correct. Yeah. By getting the hand path to be right. If it's too far out, that's not good. Yeah. Right? We know if it goes out, the club gets flat, gets lifted, you wipe it, you stand up. You know, you, you don't put a good round together. But there's a really interesting way to put this into a different perspective. If I know that in my practice swing, I'm kind of grazing my right leg. Yep. Even though that's too much, I know I'm trending on the other side of things. Yeah. And it gives me a little bit of comfort that I'm actually doing it. Yeah. Okay. So let's try that again. Sweet. Slightly went up just slightly. That's all right. It's a good yeah. shot. Left side of the green. Yeah. The nervous thing is, is funny. Cause like, <laughs> I mean, I didn't mention this on that round that I like messed up the back nine. Right. <laughs> There's just uh, way too many people watching because they know, you know they're just like waiting from every tee shot and like, <laughs> filming that's okay yeah I'm just like it's good for you yeah I, know. I didn't come up with this but like one of my students dads is a tennis coach yeah okay and his daughter plays for ucla mm -hmm. and i i like it because there's relatability amongst him and i yeah where he sees things from uh and he's done it for a long time so his sample size of competitive sports is very very large yeah and he's probably gone through what i've gone through where when I first was teaching golf, it was like, oh, you got to have these positions in a certain way because if not, I can't help you. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, after five years, six years, you start realizing like that doesn't matter that much. Mm -hmm. Like for me to get you to hit a draw is very, very simple. Yeah. Obviously, it just takes time for you to do it. Yeah. Um, but more importantly is like that first T jitter thing. He sent me this thing on, on uh, Djokovic. And that's what he said. Mm -hmm. Basically, Djokovic was like, I'm just as nervous as you are. I just have better tools to manage it. Yeah. Like, okay. So I, I don't have to try to fix that? No, no, no. Because it exists. Mm -hmm. So when you have those situations that you're going through where it's a blessing you have people that are doing that. Because mm -hmm. when you're learning normally, you don't have that. Yeah. So now you have to learn how to overcome that through those tools. Mm -hmm. Like you can attach yourself. Like literally you can do this. You can go, okay, Dana said for me to hit my right leg. That's what I'm going to gravitate to, whether I hit it good or not. Yeah. Nervous or not. So if I do that, it's a victory. It's like, oh, yeah, I did it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Stripe. Okay. So those are the most consistent looking shots I've seen. Since the beginning. Yeah. Like See, they're all kind of straight, falling left. Yeah. Okay. So um, let's kind of like look at this for a minute and don't add to it because i know you i know how you are <laughs> i know how i am we could be two peas in a pod here and we can kind of make too much go on yeah when you're finished here i want you to write down you're gonna watch your videos i get it write down those keys but then simplify it to the fact where can i confidently succumb to what i'm working on here so yeah like the big thing for you is going okay what did I do real well here to hit the ball that way mm -hmm. and have, have control and then just start working through the bag regardless, you know, that club works. Yeah. All the other clubs should work in that fashion. Yeah. And you just kind of work through the bag and then write that down. So 
you know, that's how I would put it together. Okay. Um, and then know that you control it with, I know I can set the club up closer to the scoring line of the toe. Yeah. That's going to be a good thing. Yeah. I know I can aim straighter. Yeah. Because you got to do that. Yeah. And then what's your other key? You pick uh, the right club. Yeah. Yeah. For right? Sure. Okay. Makes it a heck of a lot easier. You actually can start working on managing distance. Yeah. Can we try the long irons? Let's do it. Let's and do then, your three wood. Yeah. And then driver. Let's do driver now then. Let's do it. Okay. The driver. <laughs> is driver's, the... driver's actually the easiest club to hit because the sweet spot is a mile long. <laughs> this is the reason my back nine blew up. <laughs> so... No, no, no. No, that's not the reason. What <laughs> well, happened? The reason why your back nine blew up is you weren't committed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. Have you guys are, are you guys too young? Do you guys know, do you know um, Team America World Police? Yeah. The oh, yeah you're watching that tonight. The movie? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you seen course. it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Gary's committed. Just remember I said that. That would be a really funny picture when they say. <laughs> we'll add it to the video. Whoever's editing this, put yeah. it put it in show. I'm gonna do this off the toe as well. Yes, you are. Same input, you're gonna hit your right leg and not rotate the forearms. So you can kind of feel that shaft go more like that. Yeah, I do feel like I'm like Matt Wolf for sure though. Right? Yeah, you're not even close. <laughs> Very good. Slightly Just towed funky. it, that was yeah. good. Towed it and then... Came uh, out of it a little bit. Yeah. So a toe hit is your left shoulder going like this. Okay, and so I just gotta keep just it. Just stay like you're hitting an iron. You know, it's teed up. You don't need to try to hit up on it. Okay, baseline more left. Ball more forward. Uh, nope. ball Play forward. the ball more forward. So like here? Yep. And, and oh, okay. Great. Aim your feet more to the left. There you go. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Same input. Hit your leg, no form rotation. Stripe. Good job. I think that was like a fraction down. Huh? I was like a slight fraction down here. Oh, it doesn't matter. It was in the middle of fairway. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me see. It was a good swing. It's much, much better. So we're just going to see if we're trending <clears throat> on the mechanics. What's a trip is look how much better your like alignment is. Oh, see it's still like, on the like, heel. Dang yeah, oh, okay. Jeez. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> you go right to it. <laughs> Trying to give you a compliment. I am bad, dude. Bad. <laughs> okay. You look really pretty. Well, I didn't put on makeup. Okay. Um, <laughs> I did it today. <laughs> God. So yeah, you look great. Good. You look good. Yeah. Okay. Um. Way better. See, it's on the hands. Way better. See the shaft points inside the ball. Yeah. Right there. That's perfect. <clears throat> hands are deep. Trail elbow a little bit high, but fine. But it's it's deep enough. So when that elbow's down. It won't be as crossed, but you I don't care little, about it being crossed. So what much. do you mean by a little bit high? What were you saying? The oh, this thing. Yeah, yeah. And the shaft's a little crossed, but whatever. But oh, see, when it comes down, the shaft flattens. Yeah. Now you did back up, so you see how the left shoulder went up a little bit. Yeah. That's probably why you hit it low on the face. Yeah. We are trending. Mm. It's a good golf swing. Just yeah. Keep kind of giving it. You got to do all those things before you start worrying about your hips okay got it which got is, it i know what you're going to talk about <laughs> it's like the okay. number one thing i'm like failed yeah it temp doesn't it... doesn't yeah i okay. trust me it doesn't matter <laughs> scotty shuffler's falling over and striping it you're fine <laughs> let me try again so the only other input would be this consistently like set that up a little bit more out on the toe yeah and keep giving the same input going back just elbow it level to the ground not as up. This is going high because I stopped rotating and I'm just lifting probably. it. Probably. Yeah, probably. And then, so here, and then rather than trying to go like this with the driver, I feel like I have the tendency because I try to want to get under it. Yeah. But I could, I shouldn't even, I just, this will get under just it. Just rotate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you'll, it's normal though. Like most people do that with the driver. That's okay. why I like the three wood a lot. Okay. Because it trains you to keep the hub like zeroed out. Lovely. Good. That's a different miss. Yeah. A little overdraw. A little overdraw. I guess I'm, I'm kind of, I mean, I don't want to say scared, but like hesitant to land left a lot on the driver 
Because when I get here, I'm always like this. You're always where? Uh, on my when I'm practicing when I, with my driver. Uh huh. It usually happens with my long clubs. When I get here, I'm just like, like I end up getting so far ahead. But you know, you're not. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. If you get pressure there, you're gonna push away from it. So don't worry about that. Okay. Let me try it. We'll get in. Look. Get we'll get into that at another venue. Yeah, yeah. Once this gets under control. Okay. Let me. Like you have to get up. adapted to learn how to be here and push from here. But okay. we're we're not. Awesome. That's so good. Yeah. So. Okay. So, you're good. <laughs> Let's talk about your hips. Okay. I said we. I said we weren't, but I'm gonna allow you to train it. I don't want you hitting balls doing it. I have, um, and I should have brought them. I have some Rotex at home. Okay. Have you seen Rotex? What is that? So they're they're on a slant, and they have like wheels that oh, rotate okay. on them, and it helps you work on either internal rotation or external rotation. Mm -hmm. And I'd rather you like program that in training, so that you can feel it objectively rotate your lower body. So let me kind of like walk you through it. So okay. stand right here for a minute. Yeah. Okay. Training mean like just a uh, physical training? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like you don't need to like, oh, I need to go to the gym and go take a spin class and like all that kind of stuff. <laughs> it's just like illustrating feels. Okay. So when I go to the top of my swing and I land, what is this heel doing? Uh, putting more pressure on it? Well, the pressure's in the ball of the foot. Oh, and right? It goes to the ball of the foot. Uh -huh. because I've pushed to the right yeah. and resisted going like this, right? Yep. Pressure went right, pressure goes left. Yep. Now when that pressure goes left at the end of the windup, I'm dropping and going down and left. We, yep. That was our first thing we ever talked about. Yep. Okay. But what's the left foot actually doing? I guess slightly closing? The heel is getting closer to the target. Okay. See that? Yeah. So this is an adaptation. Just that in and of its own is adaptation. So just okay. kind of do that. Stand right here and do that. Like, should I be doing that or? Yeah, why not? So now you know your, your pressure's going left. All right, okay. so do that again. Oh. More. More. Yeah, do that again. So now you know you're slamming left. Do that yeah. again. Right? Okay. Yeah. So we got that. So if you watch Rory McIlroy or Justin Thomas, yeah. Their left foot is landing closer to the target. So it lifts up a little bit for them. For sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, they don't they don't load on their left foot. They pressure goes right, turns, boom, right? So they're actually dropping down and left at the top of the swing. Are they doing that with every club? Pretty much. Oh, okay. I mean, unless they're not trying to blast the sand wedge, but Oh yeah, just just generally. With that thing for sure. Okay, okay. so that's the first adaptation. Yeah. So you just get good at that. Mm -hmm. Without a golf club. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now I know if that's occurring, what's this femur doing? Internally rotating. Okay. Bad thing is if I go like that. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. That's externally rotated mm -hmm. and I'm going forward. Well, I can't rotate the hip if this is too far forward. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? Hump. Yeah. Right? Okay. So I want to make sure that I land here first. Yeah. That, that's a braking force. So then I can straighten this leg back behind me and rotate the hip towards the target. Gotcha, gotcha. So now do that. I'll have your club. Yeah. So stand there. Let's do the first protocol first. We'll do that three times. So it's kind of like this. Land there. Just get good and do it slower so you can feel it. There. Now once you go there, stop. Done. Right? So you landed. You yeah. got pressure on the ball of the foot. Yep. Now that pressure is going to push from toe to heel. And it, this hip is going to go back. Go ahead. Right hip is going to drive towards the target and that's going to roll up. Okay. So let's do that together. Okay. okay. Do that again. So you go to the top. Land. There you go. That's how you turn your hips. Okay. Because, yeah, because when I'm... I'm constantly like this and I just keep it like not moving. I feel like I always go like when I push and go backwards. Mm -hmm. But the here it's kind of, it allows me to open and go this way. Okay, so the, the, the so here's the thing, like you have like the mechanics of what a golf swing looks like and then you have what the forces are doing. Yeah. So off the left foot, you have some players that push up. Yeah. Put players that push away and put players that push back and then a combo of one of those three. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. so, um, and this is like 
I have those gas plates. Yeah. So on the gas plates, it'll tell you if I'm pushing more vertical, mm -hmm. that's going to spin the wheel that way. Yeah. Like a Ferris wheel. Yeah. If I push more away, mm -hmm. then it goes more merry-go-round. Mm -hmm. Now, ideally, you want a combo of both mm -hmm. so that you hit it straight. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So, but that doesn't mean that I'm just going to go like this to eternity. Yeah. Because it's just going to throw the wheel more that way. I get blocked and I start hitting block cuts and hooks. Yeah. So I want you to feel like you land. Mm -hmm. Once once you kind of get here, stop. And then slowly push towards your heel. Mm -hmm. So your right hip has room to get to the target. Okay. Oh. <laughs> You're fine. Right. Now here's the caveat. Mm -hmm. Do that with the camera here. So go and set up again. Mm-hmm. And I want you to kind of feel something. So go to the top. Okay, land. Good, hold. Now, as this is driving, keep going. See how this hip is higher? Yeah. Look where your center is. You're more on top of it. You're not going like this, right? Yeah. See how it's more on top? So do that again. There, there. Right, let that foot ro rotate. That's right. There, that, see, now you're more forward on top of it. So it's tough for you to back up on it. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, wait. There, yeah, there you go. Now I'm gonna tell you this flat out. Yeah. This is not a playable feel. This is what you do at home. Mm -hmm. If you do this for the next week, mm -hmm. you'll start to actually feel that happen in your swing. Mm -hmm. But when you're playing, it's all backswing. Okay. okay. I don't want you to ever think when you're hitting a ball, it's not actionable to have anything on your downswing you're trying to feel okay. if you want to be good. Gotcha. Okay. If you want to be like an armchair swing nerd guy like me and think you can play like that, you can't do that. I got golf, it. Golf swings too fast. Yeah. You know, if you're swinging 120 and you're trying to do an AP force, other than the fact that you're trying to jump. Yeah. No, not going to happen. You got it. You know, I'm sorry, but like in training, that's fine. Gotcha. Dave Phillips had um, <clears throat> a post the other day, like this information has been out for a long time. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it depends on how big your, your net is. Right. Mm -hmm. So like if I threw a net out, like how many, how much exposure do I have to the industry? So like Dave's got a big one and TPI does. So they they had a, a, it was a good post. Yep. Um, it, it, everything has, comes with its controversy yeah but um they were talking about the ap force pushing from here to here yeah right which is measurable <laughs> you get on a gas plate there is that's a force that's you know thank you steve gold for that yeah <laughs> but that's what's going on but that'll help you with your hip turn okay not just me saying turn your hips yeah because you, you haven't trained that to happen gotcha okay, okay. so in, in regards to this it's it's like i i just want to kind of focus on this the chest piece here i'm landing here this is kind of like this and then i'm pushing back and straightening the left leg behind you like and this. driving your right knee internally like yeah. this this way like that yep toward it yep. but it's not like here and then i'm coming um with my chest forward it's it's this and then around around yeah like this because you're already forward yeah so this is you shouldn't be feeling this like going that it's just down here and then i'm pushing it and then kind of following well i mean or for you have it forward have it forward yeah and for your listeners have it forward okay because i don't know many amateurs that are too far forward i know okay. too many amateurs that are over the top and they finish in flexion yeah that's a different thing <laughs> gotcha so, so, okay that's this is actually not so in my golf swing though this this has to open i prefer you to train it so it does do that because it's a good indicator. Okay, got it. Like if I get on a pressure board, yeah, my left heel goes boom. Mm -hmm. Like it actually moves three inches forward. Got it. Well, if it does that, I know I'm forward. And yeah. then when I start to rotate to here, this is on top of that. Got it's, it. It's like zero. Yeah. Right. And then from there, it's pushing, wham, and jumping off the ground, which it's pushing in this direction for that hip to come to the target. Mm -hmm. Got so it. if you look at Tiger Woods when he was smoking everybody like in the 2000s, yeah. you look at him hit a driver at Augusta. His foot is flying off the ground six inches behind him. Yeah. It's like this. 
Yeah. Which gave room for his hip, mm -hmm. which protected his knee. Yeah. Because all he's doing is going like, jump. Got gotcha, I mean, that's gotcha. not hurting your knee. Yeah. This hurts your knee. Yeah. Okay. That's basically what I've been doing. And I'm just like trying to get it in there. Yeah. But, and then, um, you, then it needs to straighten and go back. Okay. Got yeah. it. Okay. That sounds good. And then you're saying like, I mean, this is definitely for driver, but like as a, with the other. Yeah, as a whole. As a whole. All your clubs. But it's like less exaggerated, I guess. Sure. Like, yeah. Like you a, just dial it down a little like bit. Like a 50, 60 reason. Like, yeah. Yeah. I got it. But yeah. as a player. Yeah. We go back to our original conversation. Yeah. yeah, I want you to train that. Yep, I will. Yeah. Don't do it hitting balls. Okay. So the very first thing you do is you go, okay, I can control ball, location, it's set up. Alignment I can control, right? Yep. Okay. And pick the right club. Yep. <laughs> Don't hit pitching wedge from 180 yards. Okay. Minimally. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but the, like I can control those things. Yeah. So then all of a sudden my confidence level in what I'm doing goes up to 80%. Yeah. Maybe more. Okay. And then from there, I have a governing feel of an external governing feel of I'm going to hit my right leg with my hands going back okay. without rotating my forms. Yeah. If I do that, I know I get some depth and I know the mass of the club is slightly above the hand path, which will drop more in as I rotate through. So I don't have to think about all of it. Yeah. yeah. It's more of a playability thing. Got it. We can go guru geeky. Later. We don't have to. It looks good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then you stripe. Okay, cool. Can I try the three wood now? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. I stood up on that God, one. God, you know what? That was a really good golf swing. Just came out of it. That was a really good golf swing. Okay, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, do that again. I feel like I, it, I, I know when I'm coming out when I like end up going like this, but. That was good. Let me try to do it a little Just slower. stay in it. Yeah. I keep getting Decent. up there. Decent. Do it again. Yeah. Don't let that left arm and right arm elevate. Keep it back. Kind of went like this. Get it back. I get like you mean I'm lifting it? Yeah, that one you did. Pure. Very good. I just That's your MO, dude. Huh? That's your MO. Yeah. I just need to stay down. Yeah. I don't know what, it's it's been a thing for me. But whenever I go into long well, clubs, I kind of freak out. And now you can because you're not steep. You're not lifting your arms up. Yeah. And it's not coming this way, which is going to make you stand up. But now that the club actually kind of falls back behind you more, yeah, you can actually stay in it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It looks pure. Can um, I see it on camera? Yeah, let's All do right. it. Yeah, 100%. What are you saying? Sorry. I was just saying this is the most consistent I've seen your action. Yeah, no, I mean... And your ball flight. I feel like... <laughs> yeah, this is... Of all our lessons, I just like reviewed it the other day. I mean, I review our lessons all the time. Yeah. And I'm just like, man swing i mean yeah it looks good <laughs> it's better now but i just need to dial short game i killed that t do it yeah. again did i do that yeah do it again you're fine it's like keep a, the input the same i feel like my tendency is always to do that oh okay. slightly stood up one more one more Okay, not bad. Let's take a look. Just a little right, but pretty good. It's just, okay, got it. I also have like, you, you don't want to get it like that. Like, um, like this, and I guess it. You're overthinking <laughs> it. What yeah. are you thinking? No, I was, I was thinking like, on your backswing, you didn't want me to go like this. It had have to be like higher up, but it's more. Just get it back. Like if you're throwing a ball, like a football, it's yeah. behind. So it's good. just like, yeah, just there. Yeah, perfect. Okay, got it. Yeah, don't don't think you got to do anything with your wrist. It's not your. That's just taking away power and accuracy. So this is going back, going back, going back, going back, and then I guess like I'm just trying to think. It's going this way and then that. Yep. Do that again. I, I just want to dial this one down. So it's like this. This. Yep. Go 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 go. Well, so like this is behind you. Got it. All right, so the shoulders retracted. Yeah. And this is deep. And what was I doing again? Can you? You were elevating this like that. Yep. Which and crossing it like that. Oh, okay, got it. So, so it's just, just back. So it's just cradled there. Oh, okay. Just make sure it's like behind my back. Oh. Yeah. So it's uh. Now, if you find that you think you're doing it too much, yeah. you just let me know. Okay, so it's kind of just like this. 
Yeah, okay. there you go. Okay, I got it. So things tend to get more exaggerated with woods. Yeah. Of what your faults are. Uh-huh. Do you see a little bit of that? <laughs> okay. It's okay. It doesn't mean you can't stripe because you're striping, you're striping most of your shots. So see a little in. Yeah. Two in, you said? Yeah. So you rotated the form. Oh, I see. Kind of like that. Yeah. Right? And then, because the hands are good, elbow's good, but then it's going to be a little more crossed and lifted because you rotated it. See how that's like crossed? Yeah. Now, I don't, like, I'd rather it be there than it laid off. Laid off being? On like the... the club poning it over there. Okay, got it. Because at least the shaft kicks back. I see. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Oh, it's right for you. Okay, got yeah. it. Yeah, oh, that's why you hit that bad. pretty good. Actually, all lined up. Yeah, that wasn't too bad for... I thought it was a bad shot. I mean, it's like... Yeah, it's it was like, just a little right. Yeah. But that's what I mean. Like, you got to feel like it's cradled. Like, you're just holding this here, back here, behind your right shoulder. Gotcha. So, it's kind of just like this yeah. versus like oh. this. Yeah, so your arm goes up every time you do that. Yeah. Okay. Can I try that again with this? Yeah. Pretty yeah. pure, though, dude. Yeah, I just need to break 85 <laughs> soon. Hey, that's good golf. Yeah. For you right at about a year right now, right? Yeah, it'll be a year in, what is it, day, three, five, three, 12 days? It's pretty good. Yeah, I just feel like I could, like the last round I was like, I'm breaking 80 today. <laughs> and then I was like, I dig it. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, like there's a, the honeybee worker in us Yeah. that like puts an objective number that that is successful. Yeah. Is like... That's not what's successful. The journey is the, su the success part. Yeah, for right? sure. Like the experience that you're going through. And, you know, I know it's very anti-A type of me, but our society is kind of, not to get all metaphysical here, but like, <laughs> they're like, oh, the end point is I get to be a doctor. It's yeah. like, really? Like, no, it's you dealing with your patients and understanding them. And then at the end of your career, you're like, I have a lot of people that I cared for and I develop those relationships with. So in the golf spectrum, it's the same thing. Like yeah. I have the relationship of understanding around my golf game, how that interrelates with me as a human being, yeah. and then the other people that I play with. Like those, that's what makes it kind of cool. Yeah. Now, the good thing is that your personality, being an A-type guy, wants to see success through that stage, and that is gonna be the form of you shooting a score. Yeah. But if you just make that the number one thing, it's kind of not what you're looking at. Yeah. It's not, it's not ideal. Yeah. Okay. This basically, is this consistent throughout the, to, to the top? You're going to feel that. Yeah. So it's like this, and it, is that still? Yeah, getting... it is. Yeah, keep going. And then cradle it back there. So like this. Yeah. I, I feel like I can't cradle it until I like. Do that. It's fine. Just okay. go like this. Better. Wow. Stripe show. Okay. <laughs> Your wheels are turning, man. I could see it. That was pure. Yeah, that's crazy. Like I said, you need to take this club to dinner. Yeah. You need to find out if it's Italian food or is it a steakhouse. Okay, <laughs> right so let's check this thing out. Dang it. All right, check this out. All right. This is way better. See? A little less in, but hands are good. Trail arm is lower. See that? So that's less lifty. Yeah. Still a little cross. I don't care. And so, I mean, ideal, it's just like this. This is like, it. yeah. That's, cross, yeah. that's what cross means? Yeah. Like, okay, yeah. got it. Got but it. I'd rather you be there. And then see how the shaft kicks down, you stay in it. That's perfect. Club is from the inside. Hitting out on the ball, and then you striped it. So staying in it, does that mean I'm, so like when I went back, I, I'm getting up a little here. Does that mean staying in it would be like, I'm not going up at all until post and back? Or I mean, what does that mean? So, so the greatest players in the world had to have extension. Yeah. So some of them do. I mean, Jack Nicholas and Tiger Woods both extended. Yeah. Okay. Got it. It's you like know, slightly. Yeah. Like you don't need to really stay completely down, you know, like Mito Pereira, but uh -huh. you know, that's it's, fine. Okay, got it. And then the only other outlying thing is since you're going to be training your lower body work, it'll start looking more open and open as you continue down this path. Okay, got it. So, yeah, looks good. Perfect. Awesome, man. You have a tea time right after this, so hopefully. Sweet. So we'll see how that kind of goes. No, I mean, kind of remember, I'm going to run up and look for your, your uh Yeah, we'll go iron. back with you. 
Hey yo, it is Jerome here. I'm going to take my three wood out to dinner right now, but if you love that video, check out that one right there down below. It's even more high quality, and YouTube told me specifically that you would like it. So, click that thumbnail down below, and I'll see you there.